Hey everybody, Captain Steve here, and today we are going to show you how to properly approach the beach as well as do a dual anchor setup, and this also is known as beach anchoring. So let's dive right into this and show you what this is supposed to look like. So I will be approaching the beach today, uh, kind of straight at it. I never like my bow up on the beach, uh, partly because that's where some bad things could happen. And so we are going to have the nose or the bow of the boat facing away from the beach and the stern. Uh, so for the depth here, just so everybody's aware where we are currently anchoring, we are in a roughly about 10 feet of water. And I am going to now start make my 180. Now I do want to make the point, our windlass is currently unlocked and ready to activate at a moment's notice, as well as our beach anchor is out and ready for us. My rule of thumb is I like to be about a minimum of about 100 yards away before I start deploying the anchor. Here we go, dropping the anchor down. And this is the windlass anchor. Now this windlass is currently in free fall mode. And now we are coming back into reverse, approaching the beach. Now my caution as I approach the beach is to trim the motors up. Now as the windlass currently is in free fall mode, line is pulling out freely. If you are doing this with a standalone anchor off the bow, this is where someone's on the bow, literally just plugging away at letting line out until the appropriate desired amount towards the beach. And at this point, we are getting relatively close. I am going to reverse my operation with the windlass and hit on the up button. And at that point, you'll start to hear some resistance. Now, if you have just tossed your anchor off the bow, you're going to now be pulling back and making sure that anchor is actually firm and snug into the bottom and follow us along to the back here. At this point, we are going to just grab our line, make sure to give us a nice toss off the stern towards the direction the wind or the current is blowing from. Here we go. Again, this is where I'm gonna slowly start pulling line back. I wanna feel that resistance. Once I do feel it, we're gonna grab our cleat and just do a simple cleat hitch knot. and we are going to pull that tight. That's a proper way to anchor your boat at the beach or IE beach anchoring.